We'll be making it extremely easy up front uh, and communicating very clearly uh, with respect to paying for the extras and buying those at point of sale. And whatever you choose to add beyond the seat, that's your choice. Today, WestJet executives announcing a new low-cost, ultra-low-cost airline. That's what they're calling it. It's dubbed Swoop, and you'll be able to start buying tickets for it in early 2018. And the airline will take flight in the summer of 2018. Now, it's, today's announcement was short on any details. What we do know, though, is when you purchase a fare, you're going to simply be buying a seat. You're going to have to pay extra if you want to check some luggage, if you want any extra leg room. And some industry insiders we spoke with today say one way that Swoop can get a foothold in the market is if they try and model themselves after other low-cost airlines, which focus on shorter trips. If they pick the itinerary smartly, they're not longer than two, three hours flight durations. That means the customer doesn't expect catering and entertainment in a shorter flight. That helps them. The market is really price driven. So how people buy airfare first is price. So if they can undercut everybody with the base fee, that helps them to get market share. Is there the space in the market for another airline and an ultra low fare airline right now? It's a competitive business. We have a Canadian airline story, Roots Air, that uh, was able to fly for about two months and went out of business. So uh, it's not always successful. People have good ideas, and by the time they're ready to launch, the market may just turn on a dime, and, and uh, we can see shifts. So we don't know. At this stage, the thinking is valid, economy is solid, and the uh, Customers price sensitive. There is demand for domestic flights. Now back in 2000, Air Canada launched their own low budget airline, Tango, though it was grounded after just a few years. Ahead on City News, we're going to hear from Air Canada. I'm going to tell you if they plan on jumping on board and launching another ultra low fare airline. We're also going to tell you just how much you might save after spending all the extras for seats, for baggage. We've got that coming up a little later.